YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Quan back with another video. Now, in my last video, I just threw it in the air. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say I was guaranteed gonna do it, but I think I'm gonna just do it. Fuck it. Because after what I heard today, I got to. It's only right. Um, this is a part two to the Wife and Lucci case, the murder case. Um, I got more details to share with y'all. And of course, you know I'm gonna react to it. So, but this video is really about to get real because after what I heard, how the situation went down, why they charging Lucci with murder, it's only right that I speak on how I feel about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Grab y'all popcorn, go ahead and fry y'all some chicken nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all gotta do, cause I'm about to get right into this video, bro. Like, I got some shit to get off my chest as far as how I feel about how Lucci did his mans. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we about to go ahead and get into the video, man. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Quan, man. Let's get help. Let's go ahead and get into the Ocean video. Views. Small circle, it's a chosen few. I wrote it down and I followed through. I bought a pound and we rode the fuel. Now, over the past couple of days since I posted my last video, um, but even when I posted that one, I was I just wanted to, you know, it's celebrity gossip. So I ain't really into gossip like that, but if I fuck with him as a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Of course I'm gonna be up on it. You know what I'm saying? So when I found out he got booked for murder, like that's all I seen. That's every title I see on YouTube, murder this, murder that, murder this, murder that. Um, wife and Lucci, uh, murder against life, whatever, whatever. So it's only right that I made a video about it because that's just what I do. That's what I like to do. And that's where I get my numbers from. You know what I'm saying? So if I see results from what I like to do, of course, why not do it? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's off topic. Anyway, so last night, you know, I was up late doing my project for school or whatever. And, you know, I said, fuck this project. I'm going to go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I know that's business before bullshit, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just felt like looking at YouTube real quick. So that's usually what I do anyway. I look at YouTube videos to put me to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So I came across one. Uh, I think it was DJ Academic. Shout out to him. I think he dropped it last night or today. He might have dropped it today. But either way. So I looked at it, and uh, what I, what I was listening to was like, damn, bro. Like, every everybody has. I ain't gonna say you have friends, but everybody has somebody that they talk to every day, somebody that they might associate with every day. And um, so I'm listening to what uh, DJ Academic is saying as far as these fucking cars creeping by my house. Um, as far as what happened in the case right so i'm listening you know i'm listening to everything dd academic saying so he was like okay basically what happened why fin melly oh free melly yo why fin lucci um drove through the ops hood right you know just a rich nigga riding through the ops hood looking for trouble Got so much money, you don't even know how to make no more. He made a song about that. Like, he don't know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Got so much money, he don't know what to do with it. He made a song about it. So, you got to do the ops hood, right? Boom, shots get fired. You miss. You ain't got no aim. You ain't hit neither one of your ops. All the ops fired back. Hit two of your mans. There's four of y'all in the car. Hit two of your mans. You didn't get hit, but you took the charge for your man's getting hit, right? Okay. You throw your man's out of the car. That's the part that fucked me up right there. This is really what I'm about to react on. Um, you throw your man's out of the car. Your other man took it upon himself to take himself to a fire station, try to seek help. You being a driver with four dudes in the car, four of your homies in the car, y'all look, y'all all looking for the same type of heat. You know what I'm saying? You found the heat. Dude got some heat put in him. No, two dudes got heat put in him. You know what I'm saying? You threw both the dudes out the car. Well, the dude, other the first dude got out. He survived his injuries. The second dude got hit. Didn't survive. Didn't make it through. You threw him out the car. Threw him in the street. Left him for dead. Whoo. Boy, I'm about to fire your ass up, homie. Like, yo, that shit foul, cuz. Like, I, me, me personally, I'm just speaking on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm putting this situation in my shoes. 
Cause that's the best way to do it. If it was you, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? So in that situation, first of all, yeah, everybody got somebody they don't fuck with. Everybody got enemies. Everybody got, you know what I'm saying? But reasons behind why, why like, I don't fucking understand, bro. Like, you riding through the enemy hood, right? What? I might be missing some details, so don't quote me on nothing I'm saying right now, but what's the reason riding through the Ops hood late, that late at night? You know what I'm saying? Now, it's December, what, December 10th? Um, not a care in the world. You got too much money to care. You know what I'm saying? You don't give a fuck about Ops. You don't give a fuck about nobody dying. As you can see, you threw your homie out the car. And now you got slapped, you got a murder case slapped on your head, huh? Like, man, listen, bro. This shit, this is a sticky situation, bro. Like, this is a sticky situation, dog. I don't, man, like me, I'm trying to comprehend this shit, but it's just like I find out more and more shit about the shit. Every, okay, anyway, man, listen. Straight to the facts, y'all. If I was in that situation, right? Me, you know what I'm saying? Homie back there, homie up here, homie back there. You know what I'm saying? First of all, like me personally, I don't like nobody riding like directly behind me. Like, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm driving, you know, I'm pushing the whip, I can either look back, yo, what's up, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't I don't trust nobody, but it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't ride like this all the time with my camera facing my back seat. You dig what I'm saying? But that's just me. I don't ride with nobody behind me. So, for niggas, for this reason right here, like, your homie got threw out the car because he got shot up. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make it through his injuries and shit. Um, damn, it's a lot of ways I can come at this show. But I'm going to come at it the realest way possible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, only because I associate with a lot of people. Like, a lot of my, a lot of my, my homeboys, man, we've been rocking for it. Five, six, seven years, you know what I'm saying? So, and some more than that. So, and it, it's been times where, you know, we've been in a situation where we 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 rolled through enemy blocks. We 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 pulled up on, you know what I mean, niggas. We had we had static with, you know what I'm saying? Of God bless, you know what I'm saying? No shots was fired, but I ain't gonna really touch on detail what happened, but. Basically, we all made it through, and we still rocking to this day. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, like, like for example, right? It was this one time, and I ain't gonna say his name, but we still, we still rock to this day. I was just with him the other day, but me and the homie we went to a, uh, I think it was prom. It was it a prom or homecoming? One of them. It was a after party. You know what I'm saying? After after prom, of course, parties got jumping. And, like, my area where I live in, well, where I used to live in, can't nobody party for more than, like, two hours. You know, once the, once the, once the henny start to set in, niggas start acting stupid. So, I mean, like, I'm in a whip trying to get out. Now, it's it's on a back road. You know what I'm saying? Back roads, there's only room for two cars. So, it's cars parked on the side. It's cars parked on left and right. You know what I'm saying? Just the middle is open. So, I can't get out. You know what I'm saying? Shots getting fired, like, to the point, like, like you can feel the shots from the inside of my car. So, cars is bumping my bumper, trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? Trying not to get shot. So, my homie, like, we, we, like, we, we really, like, locked in on some shit. So, my one homie, um, he couldn't find his ride, or his ride had already dipped off on him. So, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, mind you, that night, he had a bright-ass orange, uh, 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 Sweatshirt on. And I know this might be off topic, but I'm giving you all an example of loyalty. You know what I'm saying? He had an orange sweatshirt on, so... Um, he was up a couple cars in front of me. After that, you know, niggas pulling out. Bro, i never forget. I looked, made eye contact with this motherfucker. I knew him, but I didn't know him. You know what I'm saying? I knew who he was. I heard about him, but I didn't know him as far as like, yo, what's, what's cracking, cuz? Like, not, none of that shit. Like, I knew who he was. You know what I'm saying? So he pulled out a... Baby K made eye contact with me. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, the area I'm from is areas that intertwine with each other. 
But it's always it's, it was always some beef shit at like basketball games, football games, it's parties especially. Like niggas would have parties just to fight and shoot. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's off topic. Well, it, it's not off topic. It relates to the topic, but it's just a personal experience. You know what I'm saying? So as far as loyalty, so after the shots get done ringing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas pulling out sawed offs, AKs, Draco. I'm like, yo, it's like, damn, cuz, like, I'm naked as a bitch. Like, my shit at the crib. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got shit on me, cuz I wasn't expecting this shit. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I was cool with the dude that that threw the party. So I was like, I ain't got shit to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit gonna get cracking. Boy, was I wrong. You know what I'm saying? Whew, damn. But anyway, so I finally get out. You know what I'm saying? I hit the home stretch. And, um, Mind you, it's caught, it's dark. It's like 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. So, all these cars is like on this one road. So, that's on a back road. Now, first of all, cops don't come for black people right away. Everybody know that shit. If they come, you automatically guilty. You know what I'm saying? Wrong place, wrong time type shit. And this, that's why, man... I'm, I'm gonna touch on that in a minute, but so anyway, me being a loyal nigga, I could have just like yo, like couldn't call nobody, nobody, everybody was like trying to get out the way, you know what I'm saying? When nobody wearing my answer on the fucking phone, so me, I'm trying to get away from these goddamn shots because they're coming closer and closer to my car. Like here's the road, the open roadway. Here's a car park right here, a car park right here. I'm right here trying to get out into the open roadway. The roadway not even open. It's filled with cars too, cause niggas trying to get the fuck out the dodge. You know what I'm saying? And I think the road was a dead end, so you can only go one way. It was one way in, one way out. That was the scary part about it. But anyway, so shot steady firing off, bang, bang, bang. So I'm like, fuck, like damn, like we're cuz that mind you, me and cuz we didn't ride together. I had a car full of shorties, um, and he got dropped off by one of the other homies from our hood. So. I'm looking for him like, damn, where cuz that, where cuz that. So I, I, when I got out on the, the like the main road to get like to town, you know what I'm saying? Get to town, like by the school and shit. I see him, bright orange hood. I said, oh shit. So I did some like, some type like transporter type fast and furious shit. Like it was a like, seven cars. God willing, like God bless yo. I'm glad it wasn't another car cause it was a two lane highway. One going, oncoming. So I like, shit was crazy like, we didn't even stop, you know what I'm saying? I told him, like, he climbed through the fucking window. Like, I can call him right now, like, cuz, you remember that night I saved you from a... Like, I seen him on the back of the car, you know what I'm saying? He could've got shot, or he could've got hit, anything. But everybody just trying to escape the shots, you know what I'm saying? So, pull up beside him, like, yo, cuz, hurry up, get in, get in, get in. You know what I'm saying? Get in. So he, like, we, me and the other car, we going the same speed and shit. It was like a movie, bro. I, I never forget that night, like... Like, even though we, we link up now, we still talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just how loyal I am. Like, I could have let Cuz, like, go ahead, wrist falling off the back of the car. Like, he was like, hanging on to the trunk. Like, if you on the trunk of the car, you ain't got, like, shit. Like, look, if the window is rolled up, you ain't got shit to hang on to. You know what I'm saying? So, going like, we, we going like 65, damn near fucking 70 miles an hour. This nigga's on the hood of, the, I mean, on the trunk of the car. Like, See, crazy anyway bro that's just i said out to say this like if your homie gets shot right and you throw him out the car that's not loyalty bro your other homie got shot and you driving this man walked to get some help he walked to get some help he could have got shot up by some more ops right or wrong he could have got shot up by some more ops right you worried about getting away. You know what I'm saying? You worried about you being selfish. It ain't, man, listen. It ain't nothing worse than an unloyal friend. You know what I'm saying? You put all your trust in somebody and they do you like that, they leave you for dead, basically. You know what I'm saying? Cuz got shot up. And he 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 passed away. He passed away. He was on his way out in the car. Lucci just finished him off, threw him in the street. Not well, not Lucci. Well, uh, I don't know where he was sitting at, but either way, Lucci got away scar free, scot free. Now this nigga in jail for everything. So that's just go to show, like 
you gotta weigh your options as far as like even as far as like riding through enemy hoods like man that shit is played out you know what i'm saying that shit played out like a bitch you know like it's more it's more to life than riding through enemy hoods riding through looking for trouble you know what i'm saying if you had a reason like if they threaten your mom or some shit like that or they came at your daughters or, or, or phys like physical if something physically happened to somebody virtual don't matter a lot of shit this younger generation they let get to them like me i'm always by myself i don't enter, i don't i don't entangle with drama i don't get into drama I, don't, I answer calls and listen to drama but i don't go out like you know what i mean just looking for shit like hey let me let me let me ride through my ops hood and see see who who, who, I, who I can let shots off at you know what i'm saying it's just pointless just pointless, bro. And the fact that he threw this nigga out the car, y'all. That shit, nah. Like, for real, if it was my situation, if I made it through that situation, and you know what I mean, my homie threw me out the car, I got shot up. When I get better, I'm, I'm on your ass, cuz. Just best believe it. Like, I don't wanna see the, oh man, I'm sorry, man, fuck that. I'm gonna be sorry that day. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all it is to it, y'all. And that's just me, cuz I'm a loyal nigga, y'all. Like, I don't understand why, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a loyal nigga, dog. That's all it is. That's why I'm, I'm like, I'm tight frustrated about this shit because, like I said, another, I hate when people die, you know what I'm saying? Like, death is like, it's a scary thing, but it's something you can't come back from. Like, if you get hit or, 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 or you get in an accident or something and you make it through that shit, you still here to see another day, you know what I'm saying? But life, a life being taken. And the fact you threw that nigga out of the car, Lucci, man. man I, at this point, I rock with your music. I don't really necessarily rock with you at this point. You know what I'm saying? I rock with your music. But it's just like, damn, bro, you had to, like, in the street, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you, you the driver. You could have drove your homie to the hospital. Like, whether he got hit, was bleeding out, like from everywhere or not, bro. You could have walked. I mean, you could have drove both your homies to the hospital. You made one homie walk, and other homie you took him out the car. He had to be in the front seat or at least the back seat, like back passenger seat. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. I don't really know what else to say about that. Like, that was some unloyal shit, bro. Like that was a true sign of 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 watch watch your circle, you know what I'm saying? Watch watch your circle. Watch who sit behind you in your back seat, cause cause they can stab you in your back, literally. Like stab you in your back. You get hit up, they throwing you out the car, on about their life. Now you sitting in jail with murder charge. Sam, cause that's that's just how fast it can transpire, though. You know what I'm saying? Now. This nigga facing murder. He ain't even kill nobody necessarily. But you in the same car as almost two people that almost got killed. You know what I'm saying? Just, man. Like, in the moment, I know niggas don't think about shit like that. But me, shit, I, I, I done been through some shit. Like, now, I use my brain more than ever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I've been through some scary ass shit, man. Like, I ain't even gonna talk about it on here. But I've been through some shit, you know? So that's why I, I, it's only right that I speak on how I feel about what Lucci did to his homie. Cause I, me, I, I would never do that shit. Like my homie gets shot up. I'm taking you to the hospital. I ain't no damn doctor, uh, medical technician, none of that goofy shit myself. So I'm gonna drive you to some, uh, some goddamn, you know what I'm saying? To the hospital, bro. Right. Simple as that. Damn, man. That's, that's just crazy, man. But yeah, this is a part two to the first video that I posted a couple days ago to the YFN. Oh, yeah, YFN Lucci um, case. I keep wanting to say YNW Melly or YFN Melly because the saw a murder on my mind. It's just like, it goes with this video, with this topic, but maybe that's why. But Free Melly, yo, like Free Melly, I hope that nigga come home soon. I'll fuck with his music too. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway. Yeah, be sure to leave a like. Of course, comment below if you like the video. You know what I'm saying? If you can relate to the topics that I touched on. Like I said, like I always say, use the comment section wisely. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, this topic, it might take a turn for the left, might take a turn for the right, might be good or bad. But either way, 
I will say I'm gonna just throw it in the air again. I might make a part three. Or I might just make a whole new video about the whole thing in one. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a tight part three or just, you know what I'm saying? This might be a, I don't know. A react it's gonna be a reaction video. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just, man, just stay tuned for my next video, whatever it is. Just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell, of course. And it, yeah, I'm gonna just catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy Quan, man. Thank you for watching, man. I'm gone.